Hello again. I am here with another video in this series of me learning F sharp by working through the exorcism.io exercises. Um, I've gotten to one called robot name. Um, the idea behind this is that we need a mechanism for naming little robots as they roll off a production line. The names must all be random, um, starting with two random letters and two random numbers. I've already started running the test, so they're failing, as they should. Let's open up the test and see. Okay, so random names should be... Yeah, we've got a regular expression to test it two letters, three digits, and the test should pass. It doesn't. Okay, so because this doesn't particularly care what I call it, it's also just calling the MK robot name function. That's all I need to worry about. MK robot name and we will just return AA000. That fails. Why does that fail? Uh, terminal will be reused. One failed. Let's look at the test, see exactly what it's doing. Okay, so we need to return a robot. Robot, when asked for the name of robot, will return that. So, do we have a definition of what a robot is? Let name robot. Uh, let's just return robot. Um, because that will then return that. Reset can return... Let's let it fail for now. We'll see what we need to do when we get there. Okay, yay! Uh, a next test. Name is the same each time. Okay, so this is going to test that we're not just returning a random something on name, which we're not. I suppose we could have for the first test. Um, but again, it's also because we only have one hard-coded name, it's always going to be the same anyway. Okay, that does pass. Um, like I've said before, in the spirit of test-driven development, if your test passes, you move on, even if you know the solution is not correct. If you run out of tests and the solution still is not correct, you need more tests. So let's get more tests. Uh, different robots have different names. This is where it will fail. You see, I could also install a ticker. 
tick, 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 just one, two, three. Um, not really in the spirit of the exercise, though. It so let's figure out how to do something random. Okay, um, because we have .NET, I know we've got the system.random, um, and that can give us random numbers. So let us say, let rand. Meta. Um, system random next bytes. Let's take it as a byte. Um, and we need this to be in the range of ASCII characters. Uh, ASCII. If we're giving bytes, maybe we can use bytes as um, as our range. So range from A to Z. Does that work? What happens if we say next? Then it tells us that the expression it wants an int, but it gets a char. Um, but can we not convert that? How do you convert to a byte? Byte A? No, okay. I want to see how to convert char to byte. Maybe that will work. Cast it to an int. That will return a random int between whatever the ASCII for that is and that is. And of course we want to... Does char have a cast like that? Okay. So that might work. Let's see if we... I am not sure how one does string concatenation in F sharp either. But surely, ah, there we go, sorry. Ah, 
Oh, but if we have an array, let's see how if we can find F sharp string concatenation. Another thing we could try is creating a character array which can be converted into a string. Um, so how do we do that? Something like this. Random letter. That should be returning a character array. And then There's a char array. Okay, that's still failing because this wants a string and not a character array. So we need to F sharp convert char array to string. Uh, this is string concat. Maybe that is the right. Cool. And of course, we could also do that because I like the way it looks in F sharp. Um, this is returning a. name okay that wants okay the problem is name now wants a sequence of strings but we're giving it a sequence of character arrays so that's not working
Let's find out, tell it that this is a char array. We could also say type robot. Would you say equals char array? Then we can say robot is a robot. Okay, that is passing, so I'm assuming my logic here is correct. Um, but we want some digits, so let random digit equals this again. Let's take out system and we can open system. Random next one or rather zero to nine I think that's how it works anyway okay that we want to make a string and then a char the reason if we make it straight to a char it's going to be an ASCII zero ASCII one, not a digital representation of that. if this still works and then I might do a bit of tidying up before I carry on. There's only one more test and that is to reset the name. Okay, so this is working. Okay, what I want to do is Let's move that there and let's put these inside this function. because we don't need them anywhere else so let's sort of encapsulate that uh, let's also change this to RL because we only need it here I know it's not brilliant naming um, but we can kind of see immediately what it does and that neatens up our return just a little And I suppose that's all right for now. Let us check that it still passes. After refactoring, we always test to make sure we haven't broken anything. Refactor in small bits, test. Refactor a little bit, test. Then you know exactly what you have broken. Okay, this should fail. Yep. 
Yep. Okay. So let's say return MK robot. So we're just going to return a new robot. Okay, that is all the tests passing. I will put this up. I'll also have a look to see what other people have done. I will include a link to my solution. Um, I'm curious to see what other people have done here. I don't know how elegant I find my solution. Well, let's see. Thanks. If you did watch this, thank you very much.